Okay, let's talk a little bit about casting. And uh, this is an important programming concept because, as you can see, a lot of times in the beginning of our method, what we'll do is we'll uh, basically say that uh, this object that we're creating, all right, and we're creating an object here, is going to equal an object that's already on the stage. And it's not that we're making two of them, it's just that we're saying that from now on, this guy is this guy all right so it's, it's sort of like an actor being hired to uh, play a real-life person <laughs> okay it's um, just, just one is now the other all right uh, so just to keep that in mind there's not two characters on stage now there's still just that one playing the part of the other one and uh, we said that this was a sprite kit node before all right so that's the that's the class of this character but really, if you remember, when we created our character, it's an SK sprite node, okay? And if we were to just leave things as they were, there is some functionality built into those SK sprite nodes that an SK node doesn't have. For example, um, I know that a SK sprite node can have a color property after it. So if I were to write character.color, you can see that I'm not getting any suggestions for color in the in Xcode here and it should be it's recommending that I put in color right here so that's a sign that you know we we could probably uh, stand to cast our character a little bit more appropriate to what it actually is okay and this is very simple uh, what we can do is put in here SK sprite node and you're gonna think oh that's it no uh, you're gonna get this error right here and it's important one to kind of remember in your mind it says incompatible pointer types initializing SK sprite node with an expression of type SK node so what this is telling me is that I want one thing to be another and you just can't immediately jump to that alright because what this wants to return to me is an SK node not an SK sprite node okay now what I can do is I can put in here in parentheses SK sprite node with that little pointer after it. And this is a line that we've seen before. Remember when we created our character? Look, that's identical right there. So that's returning a um, SK sprite node. What this is basically saying to us is, you know what? <laughs> I know that that, is, that type node is an SK sprite node. So I want you to specifically cast it as that right there. And this is not going to give us any problems. And if we were to write in here, character, oops, character character dot color there we go now we're starting to get some extra options dot color um, it knows what we're talking about now I can't just leave it at that but um, that is a way to more specifically cast that this could also give you some problems though too because um, it, it's a little bit more prone to a possible error now I know that there's only one character or one object out there with the dot name property is character and I know that that's an SK sprite node okay so I feel very confident using this line but um, if I were to cast a um, something that wasn't an SK sprite node and I tried to say that it was one that could lead to some issues so what you might want to do is reword this a little bit let's go back and I'm just gonna rewind everything to the point where this was back to being an SK node before and now I'm gonna test this I'm gonna say if I'm gonna do this in brackets if character is kind of class and then I put this in brackets as well I say SK sprite node don't need the pointer after this I just write class and then that one's gonna this guy is my final bracket for this whole little chunk right here. Uh, if this is true, if this results in yes, that is the type of class, uh, then we can run what's going on in the block here. And for right now, let's just put in a, um, a log statement that says, um, yeah, character is a SK sprite node. Just so that we see for sure that that is uh, correct and I haven't written that line of code in a little while so I'd like to make sure that that's true too okay anytime I put the anytime I quit the iOS simulator I guess that's when I 
it's a little bit slower to start up. I gotta remember to always hit the stop button on it. Okay, well, yeah, it's telling me that over and over and over and over again. Okay, because I forgot that this is actually in my update uh, method. So that's a good sign. I'm just getting a lot of feedback on it, more than I really want. And uh, now what I could do is let's change the names around a little bit. Let's just call this some node. I'll call this one some node. Now I'll come down here and say sk sprite node character equals and still can't get away with doing just that. It should tell me that incompatible for yep, that same exact message that I got before. Uh, this time around, or no, not this time around, same time around, same thing this time around. We can just put in here that same uh, little thing that says, hey, you no, 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 I know what I'm talking about here. This is definitely going to be that uh, SK sprite node and I'm kind of curious what it okay unused variable character uh, we're getting that because this is inside of an if statement right here okay and it's true uh, after we set this up it uh, it is unused but we have this down here too that you think well wait no no we are using that well if this if statement never runs right or if this is not true then this doesn't exist right so that's a big problem uh, and all we can all we really need to do here is um, just take out well I'm just gonna copy this I'm gonna put it up here just close that off right after that and then chop out this part of it okay and that should solve all of our problems <laughs> so what we're basically saying here is that you know what we're not going to initialize this class, or not going to initialize this uh, variable or anything. We're just going to say that, hey, maybe later on down the road, we're going to use this guy, all right? And then that occurs right here. And when you're writing inside of an if statement like this, it's going to go and, and it'll know what I'm referring to outside of the condition, all right? It's going to go, yeah, you're talking about that character up there. And again, down here, we got no problems, all right? So uh, let's, uh, let's run this one more time be sure and I well I, I didn't crash that's a good sign I, I did take out that uh, NS log statement but um, all right, well let's put it back in and we'll just write in yes there we go okay so sure enough all good Finally, there's a there's another safety net that we could add in here, which is this. If we write in if some node does not equal, and there's our probably our first introduction of does not equal in this tutorial series, nil, which means and nil just being that uh, it, it doesn't exist essentially, it uh, has no value. If uh, as long as it doesn't equal nil, then it's okay. <laughs> To go and proceed on to uh, this line right here and uh, do whatever you got to do and this isn't that important right here I, I tested this um, without it and I changed the uh, the character name to just character 2 just to see what would happen uh, and I was thinking well maybe because of this uh, because of our intersection you know character intersects node maybe that would lead to some sort of crash but um, but it turns out it, it didn't. I guess it just essentially ignores it. Or uh, since there's no frame around, no character, the the intersection was just uh, ignored uh, to begin with. But this is something that you could consider doing uh, later on, and, and it just kind of depends on. Um, well, I mean, obviously you you don't want to run code unnecessarily, so you could run a check like this, and then maybe have a bool variable in here that says something like, uh, you know, uh, bool. Character, character spelled wrong. Character exists, and then uh, say something like character exists equals yes, and then down here put in something like if character. Uh, we could put in all three of these, and of course you do have to put in a double equal signs. So character exists equals yes so in which case you would never end up testing 
um, this if that wasn't the case and actually just to, to, to save even more on the processing maybe do this line outside of there so you check this first and then you proceed on to doing this if statement but again that's uh, that's a bit of overkill and we don't really need it for um, for this so I'm not gonna worry about uh, leaving that into the final example files but I will go ahead just so you, so you guys have the example code here I'll leave uh, this part in and uh, just keep in mind that we were actually able to get away with uh, that line um, in the beginning you know just fine and uh, but it might as well have it in there for reference okay proceeding on with uh, proceeding on with the main task at hand which will be next to uh, play around with a lot of the um, sprite kit actions